in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i decree and i declare over your life the kind of favor that must follow you and overtake you i stand by the privilege of priesthood and i declare koinonia hear me in the name of jesus christ may that grace for favor rest upon you now number two i decree and declare that every arrow and every enchantment and every ill speaking of darkness programmed over you and your family members either to cause losses to cause death to cause retrogression by the power that raised christ from the dead we cancel it now number three every attack programmed over your spiritual life your prayer life your word study life your ability to fast and to love god every attack coming from the pit of hell haunting you to make sure you do not end this year in praise and glory in the name of jesus may the lord arise like the warrior that he is and scatter everything that is not of god number four we call death by name you are a spirit and we speak that in the name of jesus every instruction given to you to fall upon any one of us here or upon our families our children in the name of jesus i prophesy oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory we banish you in the name of jesus The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Every programming for mourning, every programming for tears waiting for you that before you cross into 2022, you must cry. I decree and declare, may my God, who is also your God, go before you and ensure that your joy is preserved. Hear me anyone holding anything that belongs to you that from january prophecy has come that must be released i declare from now till december from now till december 31st i decree and declare by all means it must enter your hand by all means it must enter your hand For those of you who are going to be traveling whether in the air whether by road whether by land let me prophesy to you anybody waiting at the road to stop you and kidnap you in the name that is all, up, above all names may fire come from heaven and consume them anyone waiting to kidnap your children waiting to kidnap your loved ones the earth opens and swallows them in the name of jesus christ now there are some of you who are saying apostle as it is right now sincerely i do not even know where the resources to celebrate with god's people will come maybe i'm the breadwinner of my family members and as it is now i do not even know i want you to find rest there is the prophetic dimension of wealth and i stand as one sent by god i decree and declare the helper of destiny assigned to see to it that you do not cry i declare that your ministry must be fulfilled in your life in the name of jesus christ and for as many who will be involved in one project or the other kingdom project during this time whether it's a crusade whether it's a bible study session whether it's a concert, whether it's some time of prayer with family and friends, I pray for you. The same result you have seen here, carry that same grace and reproduce it in the name of Jesus Christ.
let me prophesy over your life you are departing from this place in peace therefore any man that fights you goes down instantly goes down instantly hallelujah there are some of you this is the period of attacks all kinds of attacks in dreams all kinds of attacks in your health a time to glorify god for the gift of jesus now the devil comes to attack you i pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead every terminal disease and every orchestration of darkness that will not let you rest must go for you now now i stand by prophecy and the privilege of priesthood i knock on the gate of 2022 and i declare 2022 open up for god's people in the name of jesus christ open up for god's people with a triumphant entry they will step into 2022 with a triumphant entry not with mourning not with crying not with pain with joy i prophesy a triumphant entry into 2022 in the name of jesus christ hear me and for all who have stood in prayer in giving in sacrifice online offline with this ministry even if you are not directly part of this vision but that through your life and everything about your life god has helped to reveal jesus in and through this ministry i decree and declare the blessing that is upon this house may it rest upon you also <laughs> hallelujah because we are sent to the body of christ and we are a people of love we stand as a family of faith we pray for every ministry represented in abuja we pray for every ministry represented across this nation and we agree oh god that what you are doing here we extend that prayer and we lift up an incense of prayer to every ministry across this city from the north to the south the east and the west of abuja we pray for every man and every woman of god that calls upon the name of the lord we declare that the blessing of heaven rests upon them nothing will frustrate the work given to their hands in the name of jesus we pray for everyone whether christian muslim traditional worshiper i don't care anybody who is within our territory because they are there and because we are there we declare that in this season may the blessing of heaven rest upon them whether christians whether muslims whether traditionalist it does not matter with the love of jesus as revealed in this season we declare you are blessed in jesus name you are blessed in jesus name you are blessed in jesus name and finally i declare please place the account now i want to speak over it that in the name that is above all names everyone who is participating in our end of year sacrifice beginning from this night and all through god is not a fraudster god is not a scammer he does not play games with people therefore i pray in the name that is above all names for every one dollar one naira one pound one euro whatever currency that comes in here as a sacrifice only god knows the things that people are going to give up to honor this prophetic instruction as a global family i pray for you that in the name of jesus christ for every sacrifice you are making may god come through for you in a fearful way in the name of jesus christ by faith i bless your givings by faith i bless your sacrifice let it rise as a memorial before god you will not give and go down in the name of jesus and come 2022 everyone here tonight i declare you will return the only difference is that you will be 10 times greater 
in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing upon the session of praise and worship right now and i pray that it will not be an ordinary praise that the sounds that come from here will step into the realm of the spirit and bring deliverance and bring healings and bring salvation in the name of jesus christ the pros kade la katos kade brante ke paratos kade brante ke balakata you are great you do miracles so great There is no one else like you There is no one else like you You are great You do miracles so great There is no one else like you Now ask him for something definite tonight. Go ahead. Ask him for something very definite tonight. Ask him because be cool. The Lord is saying, even now, I am bringing restoration. 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 That grace is coming heavy on someone. Restoration. The Lord is drawing back to your life the things that have left you. Did the bones in the valley of Ezekiel not come back again? The Lord is saying, I'm putting back in order. I'm putting back in order. Everything that has left your life, everything that is in disalignment, tonight it is coming back to order coming back to order families are coming back to order families that have been decades apart there is an anointing in this place right now bringing things to order i prophesied as i was commanded and there was bones the bones began to come financial bones are coming relational bones are coming career bones are coming ministerial bones from wherever they are coming bone to his bone Bone to his bone. Hallelujah. Now I'm sensing there is, please listen, there is a very strong anointing in this place right now for creative miracles. Very strong anointing for creative miracles whether it is a problem with your body a problem with your bone you're on wheelchairs you're on a crutch some sort of ache anything at all organ failure i sense very strongly there is this anointing right now in the name of jesus i don't know where you are inside and outside you came for a miracle service right now miracles are happening i'm stretching my hands please when you identify those people let them check themselves right now if you check yourself and find out that something is happening to you i want you to run to the front right now there are miracles i'm sensing very strong miracles creative miracles organs that have been missing some organs that have been removed are being replaced by the spirit of the living God supernatural miracles are happening even by the spirit of God supernatural miracles are happening and I'm sensing there is a strong anointing for restoration of hearing 
there are people who may be deaf completely or partially deaf, deaf in one side of your ears. It doesn't matter where, but in the name of Jesus, I'm declaring healing right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, such a strong, I declare to you by the spirit of faith, be healed in the name of Jesus. And God is doing something marvelous as miracles are happening. Walk, my dear, don't be afraid. Let the power of God touch your limbs right now. Look at me, young lady, look at me. Which of the legs? By the power that raised Christ from the dead, something is happening to you. I'm seeing like fire just passing through you. First take it easy. Any other person with your crutch or something, just lift it up. Lift it up right now and try walking. Lift it up right now. Whether you are inside, whether you are outside, I want you to lift it up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift it up right now. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I'm seeing the vision of a woman who came here with a sick child. There's another wheelchair there. Come, walk. Come. 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 Walk. Walk, sir. Lift it up. Walk. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If there's any other wheelchair, lift it up or, or crutch or whatever, lift it up. In the name of Jesus, there is a woman who came here with a child, a sick child. Your child? What is wrong with the child? Come. How old is your child? Huh? Yeah, four months. What's his name? Her name is Sochine. Oh, her name. Is a she. Can I pray for her? Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus, I saw this in my vision and I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can even see she had to pull up the clothes of the child. No shadow you will light, mountain you will climb, come in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle right now. Please help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help her by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's a miracle here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a supernatural miracle. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone, you cannot lift your hand. I don't know if the hand is broken, fractured, or, or maybe it's just not working. Please lift it now. Lift it now. There's someone, you cannot lift your hand. Check yourself and come now. Miracles are happening here. Lift it now. Look at that. Lift it. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. Just, just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift it. Check yourself. You cannot lift your hand. I'm seeing this by the Spirit. And there are miracles that are happening we're going to be seated shortly, but you couldn't lift your hands. Please help them so they are not to... Look at this. Let her come. Lift it up, madam. Lift it up. Don't be afraid. Are you seeing what God is doing? Lift it up. Looks like a stroke or something. Koinonia, is this how you celebrate miracles? <laughs> Hallelujah. He could not walk before. Walk, no, sir. Go. He walk. Now he's oh, he came here on a stretcher. Yes, sir. Walk. This is the son that brought him. Walk. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. How long? How long? I left him. I went to my room. The next day, he could not talk. He could not stand. He could not do so anything. You like see, a come, let him come. You can see that this is. Please let him come. You can see that this is not sickness. This is witchcraft. That you get up in the morning and the man could not help you. He says something. Give him. No, eat 
could not do anything like a dead person for close to two months. He was, he was on the ground. How did he? Completely could not walk. Completely walk. could not walk, could not do Daddy, on his own. you believe in Jesus. Run. Don't just walk. Run. Don't worry. Go ahead. You will be pretending it. The spirit entered. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Just take two or three minutes to pray in tongues before we sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please greet somebody by your left and right and sit down if you can. We call this koinonia. Simply koinonia. The place of his presence. God is in the midst of for ye are come unto Mount Zion. That mount where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect, to the church of the firstborn. Where he has chosen to leave us with the charisma of his presence. Adonai, Lamb of God, truly you are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords. Tonight, 
Let your kingdom reign in our hearts. Adonai, 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 Adonai. Yeah. Adonai. 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 Worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, you're the Lord of lords. Let your kingdom reign. Not a special number. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. This is our prayer. When his kingdom comes in your life, you will never be the same. Let his kingdom come upon that sick body. Let your kingdom come. First Thessalonians There are angels moving around Just bringing impartations in people as we do. Mighty impartations of fire This is what I see happening in the spirit Your presence Hallelujah See, listen no matter what you have, if you do not have his presence, you have nothing. I don't care what you have. That ultimate secret is his presence. You can fake power. You can fake anointing. But you cannot fake the presence of the mighty one. Like him, he's the lion and the lamb. He's seated on the throne. See, this is not a special number. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Just listen to me. I'm ministering to your spirit. Who is this God? He's the Lion and the Lamb Seated on the throne The Bible says the mountains keep like lambs in His presence Mountains bow down Every ocean roll To the Lord of Lords That is the one we serve. Mighty. It's great and mighty. Full of majesty. 
And he brought you here to change your life. He brought you to do something in your life that no power in existence can stop. It is within his ability to create the change. Hallelujah. Listen. Many of you do not know. See, this is the ninth month and God is birthing a lot of things. It was in this month I began to talk about the miracle service from the first week. For as soon as Zion travails, she will put forth a son. All of the teachings that we have been building upon, sharing the secrets of the kingdom to prepare us for the things that the Holy Ghost is doing. Empre toko pa yada kaba, sote tete kepata, empro toke bari kaba, sebe kaba yabo koso pa. I pray that you will be found upon the fountain of the spirit. Let there be a breaking of the spirit and an opening of spirituality. I'm calling you higher, say at the Spirit of God. I'm calling you, climb up that mountain, say at the Spirit of God. Climb up that mountain where your eyes will see clearer. Climb up that mountain. Climb up that mountain. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit, say the Lord. Feast upon the secrets of the Spirit. There is a path that no fowl knoweth. The whelps of the lion has not gotten there. Majestic is his presence. Hallelujah. First Thessalonians two verse eight. First Thessalonians two. I'm sorry, not it. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, I would have come to you. It is my desire. For you to experience my presence. He said, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that blessing would have come to you. Wherefore, that healing, that breakthrough would have come to you. He said, I desire, but Satan hindered us. And tonight is a prayer meeting. We will pray. Wherefore, I would have brought the breakthrough for the family. Wherefore, 
I would have opened you up to certain realms of grace and power. He said, but Satan, but Satan hindered us. Wherefore, that genotype would have changed by now. Wherefore, that act of witchcraft and divination over families and territories would have been addressed. He said, but Satan hindered us. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is hidden in laws and mysteries. And all through scriptures, you will find the operation of the kingdom hidden in stories, experiences, parables. They are a revelation of the patterns, the workings of the kingdom. It takes illumination. It's called the spirit of revelation. And then your eyes are open to see beyond the story. And then you begin to see the construction. The build of the character and the operation of the kingdom. And when you understand it, you have those keys. Then you will command power in this territory. And this is what we seek to transfer. An understanding of the operation of the kingdom. Week after week, this is our project. To unveil unto you the secrets of the kingdom. Because when you find it, then you will be able to operate in mastery. In the last one or two months, we have been unveiling a lot of things. Opening you up to the spiritual dimension of life. All of the teachings have been a build up upon one and another. To open you up to the spiritual dimension. The Bible says they know not. Neither do they understand. They grope in darkness. Confusion. And as a result the earth is out of course. Have I not said ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. He said but you shall die like men, men and fall like one of these princes. And the remedy is an unveiling. This is why we value the presence of the Holy Spirit so much. The body of Christ knows a lot. They know a lot of Bible stories. But insight into the truth to understand the operation of the kingdom is what is deficient. says my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from out of thy heart keep them in the midst of the heart he said they are life to those who find them health to their flesh it will take your understanding of spiritual things it is understanding that will reduce satan to become nothing in your life Hallelujah. Wherefore we would have come to you. So there are many things that desire to come into your life. Breakthrough. Blessings. Increase. He said, but what happened? Satan hindered us. Satan hindered us. Hindered the blessing. Hindered the lifting. Hindered your insight, access into the deep things of the spirit, but Satan hindered us. Hallelujah. And tonight we have come to call the devil a liar. We have come to open up the two lead gates that you will step into certain things that have a time in giving. Please take note of what is happening tonight. There are healings already happening. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying. This night we will be confronting the gates of darkness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Tonight we will pursue. We will overtake. And we will recover all. Many people have taught all kinds of junk messages. Look at me. Wickedness is real. Don't let anybody fool you with any 
sugar-coated message. The Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. Hallelujah. Why do you need the power of the Holy Ghost? Because there are giants on every mountain. And the Bible says, how awe-inspiring are your ways. It says, through the greatness of thy power, shall thy enemies submit themselves. Psalm 66 verse 3. Wherefore, by now you would have been lifted. By now your family would have risen to a level. You would have stepped into another dimension. But Satan hindered us. Wherefore you would have been walking in mighty levels of grace by now. Your destiny helpers have desired to come to you. But Satan hindered them. Wherefore, your life partner would have come into your life. You would have been happily married with dignity and honor, but Satan hindered them. Wherefore, that job, that opening, but Satan hindered us. This is Paul the Apostle speaking. I desire to come to you. I know the things I carry. And I know that if I meet you, you will never be the same. So Satan hindered us. Wherefore, you would have been coming to, for Koinonia years ago. But Satan hindered you. Wherefore, your loved ones would have been here tonight. With all your efforts to bring them. But Satan. I need you to know that Satan is determined to frustrate your Christian experience. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Satan is determined. He will use every spiritual arsenal within his control to see that he frustrates your spiritual life. Therefore, it will take understanding of the operations of the kingdom to triumph over him. He said, unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. Oh my God. He said, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed and let not my enemies triumph over me. He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, he's restoring everything. In obedience to Christ. Satan has hindered a lot of people. Listen. We have been explaining these things right from the teaching. Give me this mountain. That every time you arrive at that mountain, there are giants. Hear me. There are forces of darkness stationed across the earth to ensure that men do not rise. Zechariah chapter 1. This is a month of breakthrough. Something must happen in your life. I know that somebody believes this word. There are many who will sit down there and keep being cynical and watch others testify. Said they heard the word like we did, but the word did not profit them because it was not mixed with faith. Zechariah 1 from verse 17 down. Cry yet saying Thus saith the Lord of hosts My city's true prosperity Shall be spread abroad And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion The moment it speaks about Breakthrough what happens next verse Can you give us from amplified Is it possible Please amplified Then I lifted up my eyes And behold Four horns Immediately he told the prophet, this is your prophetic destiny. This is what should happen to you. He said, now lift up your eyes and see what has been hindering you. He said, I lifted up my eyes and I beheld four horns. Amplified says, symbols of strength. Next verse. And I said unto the angel who talked with me, what are these? I have not been taught in church that there are horns that can lift people. They have deceived me that you just confess and enter your destiny. This is strange. I have not been taught. What are these? 
many of, of you have been deceived that all it takes is just to laugh and you just jump in and enter your destiny. All it takes is to just pack five naira and put an envelope and come and drop it. Or that they pour a little dot of oil. Let me tell you the truth. There is more to the operation of the kingdom than this. He said, what are these? It is strange. I have not been taught. I wasn't given this insight that after a promise there is a contention in the spirit to bring his deliverance. Most people just stop in verse 17. He said, now that I've told you your prophetic destiny, lift your eyes, let's tackle the resistance. What is this that you see? If it's raining, let them come in. Please come in. Sit anywhere. On the ground, on the altar, anywhere. Just find a place and sit down. Tonight is a serious meeting and we're going to pray. Listen. And he answered me. He said, these are what? The four horns of powers which have scattered Judas. Rob men of their praise. Rob men of their testimony. Judah means praise. Praise is an effect of a testimony. The well-doing of the Lord. Please come in. Come in everybody. Sit down anywhere. Come and sit here. Wherever you can find, just sit down. There are spaces all around. Ushers, please help them. I need everybody's attention. Are you following me now? He said they have scattered what? Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Tonight we will pray. Oh, that devil that is holding your destiny. See, no matter how mad a man is, he does not enter fire by mistake. Is that true? No matter how mad he is, he can do stupid things and they say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, the Bible says he maketh his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Look up. Every promise in the Bible requires contentions in the spirit for you to actualize it. He said, this charge I give unto you, my son Timothy, that you wore a good warfare with the prophecy that has been released to you. There are more seats. Stand anywhere. No devil will stop you this night. So let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your home. Sing one more time. Yeah. Let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Please follow me tonight. It says, Then the Lord showed me what? Four smiths or workmen. One for each enemy of the horn. He showed me four carpenters. He said, now I've shown you the horn. There are certain people I am going to send to you. He calls them carpenters. This is your promise. This is your destiny. Between you and your destiny, there are four horns. And the job of those horns is to scatter your life, scatter your finances, scatter your anointing, scatter your prayer life. He said, but I sent four carpenters. One for each horn. He said to beat it down. 21. Then said I, what are these horns or smith? So Satan sends his horn. See, let me tell you something. Go to verse 19. He said, these are four horns and four powers. Their job is to wreck your destiny. Are you listening to me? They are, they are patient. These are spirit entities scattered around the face of the earth. And every time they see anything that looks like growth and progress in your family... They are the ones, they watch to see when your sister gets pregnant. Their job is to scatter. He said to scatter Judah. Judah is the place of praise. Israel is the place of promise. 
21. Then said I, what are these horns coming to do? It says, and he said, these are the horns of powers that scattered Judah so that what? No man will lift his head. There are forces. Hear me, Koinonia. There are forces of darkness positioned by the powers of darkness. He said, wherefore, I desire to come to you, but Satan hindered us. So that no man will lift up his head. They are scattered around our villages. They are scattered around ministries. So that certain ministries cannot lift up their heads. So that certain destinies cannot lift up their heads. That's the job. Every time anyone in your family is about to rise, they contend in your academics, in your finance. The moment you begin to pray, after one week your prayer life dies the horns the moment you have faith and say Lord I trust you after three days something pushes you down are you following me now you enter a relationship two weeks something just happens and scatters everything who are these he said these are four horns they have been stationed and every time they see you lifting your head their job is to bring you down it's in your bible it says so that no man will lift up his head many ministries do not know the powers of darkness that try to tie them down are you listening to me the moment a ministry starts blossoming the men of god are carried away with money and prosperity and increase administrations they forget that there are four horns let the lord just declare a prophecy over your life and you will see these horns rise the moment they declared this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased all hell broke loose he said i desire to give you prosperity I desire to give you increase. But there are four homes. There are four homes. There are many families represented here. What you are seeing in your dreams and visions and what is happening in your life is different. Between that dream and the manifestation are four homes. They are gates. Are you following me tonight? I came to preach my heart because we are going to pray. Four homes. You go, you go and apply for a job. They are ready to respond to you. Three days later, something comes up without any explanation. See, hear me believers. If you don't take charge of your destiny and apply the keys of the kingdom, you may remain free. Please bring the first thing. Two people that are going to shout right now, loud under the power of God in this auditorium. The power of God is coming on two people. A very, very loud shout. Bring them, please. Let's pray. Father, in the name that is above all names, we have come here. You have called it a miracle service. A service where you are taking burdens, yokes from the destinies of men. Lord, there are people here who have been tied down by all kinds of things some of them have prayed some of them have fasted some of them have done everything they know to do and it looks like it is not going but lord i thank you because you have, you have been given a name that is above every other name above thrones above dominions every name that is named and as your people shout at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus hear me i tell you there is fire burning here as you shout that name inside and outside the power of god is going to rest upon you and everything that is not of the christ must leave your destiny now right now in the name of jesus at the count of three together we will shout that name that is above every other name and every wall of jericho must go down are you ready one two three shout jesus now every stranger, every foul spirit, go now. Come out of their destinies now. In the name of Jesus. Please bring them out very quickly. 
I decree and declare, lose them now and let them go. Lose their destinies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lose them now and let them go in the name of Jesus. We are still praying. There are families that have been tied down that nothing good will come out of you. Right now I decree and declare I'm seeing at least 21 people belonging to this case by the power that raised Christ from the dead. One more time you will shout Jesus. May that fire rest upon you. Every altar that is speaking against your family that you will not rise, that you will not shine. It is destroyed right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed, be destroyed. Every embargo of darkness, in the name of Jesus, please bring them out by the power of the Holy Ghost. Never the same, never the same, never the same. In the name of Jesus. I'm praying. Look at me, please. There are people I'm seeing in the spirit who have this embargo of disfavor. Now, you are moving physically, you may not see it, but there is an embargo on you. People and things that should help you just ignore you as if you are not there. I don't know who belongs to that category, but right now, in the name of Jesus, may that power come upon you now. I declare that that yoke, that embargo of this favor upon your life is broken now. 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 Hananta Shadabalakotosudobadakata. Kretigedebakata. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. I'm still seeing fire fall on people. The Lord is, is focusing on families right now. I'm saying it again. Every family that has not advanced, you have done the best you know to do. Educated but not advancing. Exposed but not advancing. Surrounded by helpers but not advancing. At the count of three, as you shout that name, I decree and declare everything sitting on the advancement of your family. It must be cleared out of the way. Are you ready? Don't be tired. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Those barriers be broken. Help them please, my God. Help that gentleman. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Please help the ushers. Whether you are an usher or not, they are overwhelmed. If someone is near you, just help to bring them out. Please help the ushers. In the marvelous name of Jesus. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. There are families that have not experienced ease. The things that should be easy. There are others for 10 years they are trying to build one house. 10 years. And it's not like they are lazy. Everything they try to do, it looks like there is no way. I am praying for you. There's a reason why I ask you to bring them out. Please help us. I'm ministering to them. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of retrogression that is sitting on anyone. Apakatoskata. Matika parukata. Kebrendegeta. Right now I command that spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let Apakatos Kedebakata. Let them go now. Bring them out. Let them go now. Please bring them up. Now watch this. There was a woman in the Bible that all the men in their life, her life were dying mysteriously. She was called the widow at Nahum. The husband that she had 
mysteriously died. The last son that represented her future also died. And while they were taking him out of the gate, Jesus stopped them and said, no, it's not over. What in the world is happening here? The man who would grant us strength and security and fortification. There is this, this lady waving her hands. That one. I'm seeing oil coming on your head, my dear. Right now I decree and declare. Be released now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now be released by the power of the Holy Spirit. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb. Seated on the throne. Mountains bow down, every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Holy Ghost is still telling me to rebuke the spirit of death. You see, you see me keep saying this thing. This embargo of the grave, in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is anyone here appointed to death, that there is an embargo of death, that you will not see the end of the year. All your family members are pakatoshkata. Some of you have seen it in dreams. You lie down to sleep and the semblance of death comes. By the power of the Holy Ghost, right now, may the fire of God rest upon you and bring an end to the orchestrations of death. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from the sword. Be delivered from accidents. Be delivered from terrorism. Joseph. Who is Joseph? I'm hearing a name Joseph. Joseph. This is what I'm hearing. I presume there may be many people with that name. Joseph. Where are you from? Where are you from? Please don't just come out at random or pray. I can imagine how many Josephs will come out. Now, please hear me. Where are you from, my friend? Huh? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Out of his life forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't come out at random, man, so that we can walk with time. There are two of you here that have the call of God on your life. Fire is coming on you now. The Lord is saying it's a new dimension in ministry. Among the Josephs that are here, in the name of Jesus Christ, new level, new level, new dimension. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you are drinking of a very strong wine. Parakatosh katiba lakata. In the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus. New grace. Kadish Kadibala. Kebrokatos Katebarakatos Katebandakata. Kebros Kotos Shapirakos Katiadakata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Parukatos Katebarikatebalakosia. Kogin State. Who is Halima? I'm hearing the name Halima. It's like you are from Kogi State. Is there someone like that? I want to pray for you. For all of you that... What's your name? Where are you from? Come, stand here. You are in Abuja here? I want... What do you do? I want to pray for you. Because God is bringing deliverance to your family. I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare that it is a new season right now. Who is innocent? Innocent. I'm hearing the name innocent. Your name is innocent. Innocent. 
innocent. Who is innocent? The man I'm seeing is, a, is I'm, I don't know if you're an old man, but I'm seeing gray hair. The innocent I'm seeing. You are wearing like a, is it light green or something? Captain. Light green. Is there someone like that? Innocent. Your life is about to change. Where is he? Come. Oh, he said, an old man, come. Please, let, let me, I'll, I'll pray for all of you, but where is he coming from? Outside? Are you his wife? Give her the mic. Huh? Where was he? His name is Innocent. You're welcome, sir. Please come. Sir, I want to pray for you. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I want you to share up. God is going to turn your life around in a way that will support. No, you don't have to kneel. Please stand. I don't know you. You see, this thing is not like it's, a, it's human calculation. You can't calculate these kinds of things. It, it has to be of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. Who works in a bank here? Bank? Anyone? I'm seeing, I just saw the name UBA. UBA. This is what I just saw. UBA. That should be the name of a bank. Is there anyone like that? Not, not just in front here. UBA. Oh. UBA. The Lord is bringing. I will pray for you, but I'm seeing a gentleman. It's not a lady I'm seeing, but then I will pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be increase for you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural increase. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Baba, let me pray for you and your dear wife. And then I'll pray for everyone. Innocent too, sir. Okay, I'll pray for you. Um, there is someone here, don't be embarrassed. I'm not calling him bad, but your brother has been stealing. Like there's the spirit of theft. The house is tired, everybody is tired. God wants to deliver him now. Who is that person? This boy has been stealing. There is, if you hide anything anywhere, it's like word of knowledge. Where, who is that, please? Please don't come out here if we are serious. Don't. No, don't stop them. If, um, if, if you are the one, don't worry. God will touch you. We are going to make... Um, um, please, let's just be sure that we are... I'm not saying you suspect he's a thief or a cat. He's somebody that everybody, including him, you know that they are stealing. This thing is a spirit. Can I tell you this? Once people cannot control certain things, even though they know it's wrong, it's a spirit. Are we together now? You see how these evil spirits work? You hide money, they will steal it. They come out of prison, they go back again. I know a gentleman years ago, who his mother cursed him, that until rat stops stealing, he will not stop stealing. Yes, sir. When, when he gets to the prison, they don't even ask him a question, he will just go in because they already know that this guy is there. They come and bail him out. You mean all these people? Are you the ones who have... Is it that it's a challenge? You, hold on, please. Let's, let's, time is against us, so we have to make sure we, our efforts are not wasted. Praise God. Is it that you are the one who is struggling with it? No problem. There's, huh? All of you, your brothers. They steal. Now, you look at this, ladies and gentlemen. How in the world do you survive with these kinds of things? Now, it does not always mean that the people are bad. It's a spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And for some of you, let me tell you this. I don't mean to scare you. But it is happening to more than one or two or three people in your family. Chances are that you may also be a victim of it. Because it's a pattern. Like, don't be embarrassed. 
But two of you now, as I'm speaking, the power of God is going to come on you and you'll be delivered from this same thing now, even before your loved ones. Just believe, I'm a man of God, I'm like a, a doctor. Once you lie down on the bed of surgery, you don't tell the doctor what to do. You just lie down and let them operate you. Once they are done, they will ask you to come up. Two of you, the power of God, is. I just saw that light. Because some of you, it, it, these things, they are patterns. Help them. You see it now. I'm not saying you are thieves. I'm just saying this is a spirit. Just because it caught someone first does not mean it will leave the rest. It will attempt everybody in that family. There are two people. There's one more. This is one. One of you, the power of God is coming on you. You have to be free from this demonic thing. If not, you will be surprised that one day you will just be a victim of this thing and it will embarrass you somewhere. In the name of Jesus Christ, why are they here again, please? Any other person, even if is the person stealing himself, just stay back and release your faith right there. This is the whole family, or you are coming from outside. Okay, lift your hands, all of you who are in front here. Please, I like you to believe. Don't condemn your brothers. Don't condemn anyone. Daddy, let me prophesy to you first. Please look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus, you will not die. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm only speaking because I looked at you and the next thing I saw a coffin. And the Lord is saying I should rebuke it. In the name of Jesus, I don't know whether there is currently an infirmity or whatever it is. But may the Lord himself preserve you. The fullness of your days you will fulfill. In the name of Jesus. And for everyone here, for the various reasons why you came out, including loved ones who are challenged in this area, with any and all forms of addiction, I don't, this fair lady, I keep seeing light all over you. I'm seeing the power of God coming on you, this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, something is leaving you. I'm seeing that miracle happening to you. In the name of Jesus, be free now. Not just for you, but for your entire family. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Now everyone who is here, wherever your loved ones are, who are, are victims of this, this theft and whatever it is, I declare their deliverance now. I declare their deliverance now. And please hear me. Let me use these ones and pray for anyone here who is under any kind of yoke of addiction different kinds of addictions for you or for your family members in the name that is above all names that power of addiction that seems to have control over you let it be broken now 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 in the name of jesus christ and for everyone here you will go back and you will return with testimonies in Jesus name I pray God bless you please return rejoicing very quickly Justina oh dear our time I'm hearing the name Justina who is Justina Justina where are you coming from I'm here no state of huh? I want to pray for you you believe in the power of God Look at me. Your family has been under siege. God wants to bring marvelous deliverance to your family. Lord Jesus, I'm praying. What God says to one, He's saying to everybody. In the name of Jesus, over this family, the power of God is coming on you now. Let there be deliverance now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents an oppression over this family, it comes to an end in Jesus' name. You too, Justina. Can I pray for you? In the name of... What do you do? What do you mean construction? Where are you from? What is the name of the this this Chinese company? CC. The Lord is going to connect you to somebody in that place. Look at me. Believe what I'm telling you. 
and go to your secret place and write this name down, Sahara. Just write it. Sahara. Go and write it down. A time will come, somebody, a lady from that place, God is going to connect you to her and they will lift you. Sahara. That's the name I'm seeing on you. Just go and write it down. This, this is like, this is, this is an, a company that it looks like they're into gas, oil and gas. Go and write it down. Believe what I'm telling you. You just go and write it. Sahara. Go and write the name. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord change your life. May the Lord turn your life around. In Jesus name. All of you, the same thing. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, one of you has severe stomach pain. Like it comes, who is that person? Severe stomach pain. Place your hand there. Um, what I'm seeing is not good. But in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare every planting that is not of the Lord. Now, let it go. In the name of Jesus, out of her now. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I decree and declare, let her be delivered right now. And for all of you who are here standing, whether for yourselves or your family members, in Jesus' name, let there be liberty now. In Jesus' name. The power of God is touching you. Please don't come out at random. Why are they here? Dementia? You or your dad? Where, where is he? You too? Dementia? You? For your dad. Brother and sister. Father and sister. It's okay, I'm going to pray for you. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burden you have carried. For in this sanctuary. Now listen. I'm going to raise that song one more time and the power of God will begin to move. Just for you people. That's the instruction I'm receiving. That's why I raise the song. There is a sting. Anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness. My God. The Lord is bringing deliverance now. Oh, come lay down. The burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary. Oh, come lay down the burdens you for in the sanctuary. Right now, I declare, let that fire move across in the name of Jesus upon every one of you. You are standing for yourself, you are standing for your loved ones. At the count of three, may that fire rest on you. Right now. One. Get ready. Two. Three. Take that fire now. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, take that fire now. For you and for your loved ones, be delivered, be set free in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, two of you who came out to stand here, you are receiving an anointing, is the call of God upon your life. Two of you, two of you right now, I don't know where you are, I release that anointing right now. Two of you, take that fire, take that fire, take that fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Father. All those who have suffered from bipolar, dementia, and every other related medical condition, whether you are here or for your loved ones, we rebuke the spirit behind it and we declare be healed now. 
be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please return to your seat. Please everyone rise. I want to pray for the sick right now. Even though um, we're already on with the healing. But we can't call everybody case by case. If you can't please stand. Release your faith right now. I want to pray for you. Please stand. Just lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Please believe that this one, the power of God will touch you. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit. Bring that lady. Lift your hands. Fire upon you now. Jesus. I believe Jesus. There is healing in your name. As I pray for you, please listen. I truly believe in the healing ministry. I believe in the power of Jesus to heal. You are standing for yourself. You are standing for your loved ones. As I pray. Do not forbear with anything that is an infirmity. Whether it's a growth in your body, whether it's for someone, you can also stand in for your loved ones as I pray. All I want you to do is to agree with me with a loud amen. And here's what we have to do. I want us to be out of here as soon and as fast as possible. So please do well to cooperate. I'm going to pray for you. A simple prayer of faith. And I'm going to rebuke that spirit. The moment I do that, for those who have been under the anointing and those who the power of God will come on, you don't have to bring them out. I want you to check yourself very quickly. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, aside from those who testified at first, I want you very quickly, you can come out either to my left or my right. There will be a few pastors who will check you, just look at you and we'll have one or two uh, testimonies and then we'll pray over the requests. I speak over your life and then we're done. I'm glad that Bishop is here and um, Pastor from the U.S. I'll give them a minute or two to just join faith with me and declare over you. Let's just stand in faith and then when that is done, um, we'll wrap up the service. Now lay your hands please very quickly. He is able more than able. In the name of Jesus Christ, please shout a loud Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and I declare, every spirit that is back of any disease here, any sickness, any infirmity, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command, let God's people go now. My God, some of you will be feeling that that fire is just coming upon you, going through your body as I'm praying right now. It's the healing power of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed. Be healed, be restored, be healed in the name of Jesus. Every blood condition here, I declare be healed now. Ulcers, be healed now. Visual impediments, whether total blindness or partial blindness, I declare be healed now. Anyone with deafness, whether on one or both ears, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. <laughs> Cardiovascular challenges, I decree and declare heart palpitations, holes in the heart, every kind of heart infection, in Jesus' name, be healed now. <laughs> High blood pressure, be healed now. Low blood pressure. Be healed now. Migraine headaches. Be healed now. 
epileptic seizures be healed now. Anyone here with the issue of blood be healed now. Pile, I declare be healed now. Inability to sleep, I decree and declare right now you find rest once and for all. If there is anyone having any growth in any part of your body, from your head to your feet, in the name of Jesus, wherever that growth is located, whether as a lump in the breast, as every devil around your abdominal region, right now, that growth disappears in Jesus' name. Disappears in Jesus' name. Disappears in Jesus' name. There is someone, I don't know who you are, but it's like you have something in your, I don't know if it's in your head, but some, some tumor-like infection. In the name of Jesus Christ, I don't know who that person is, let there be healing right now. I'm seeing someone's, um, your, your, your knee is like it shifts. It just shifts like this and returns back. I declare, let there be stability right now. Every kind of skeletal challenge from your head to your toe, whether it's your vertebra, whether it's any part of your body, your skeletal system, let there be perfection right now. And for some of you, let there be recreation right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone, your fingers, you can't move them like this. Like I'm moving mine. In Jesus' name, the power of God is coming on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. You'll begin to move it. I'm seeing someone, is it a boil or some swelling? Just around your armpit area. Sorry to embarrass you, but in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare, I cause that demonic boil, it goes now. Now, I, I've prayed this before. God has revealed this to me. I don't know if it was here in Koinonia or in another meeting. A, a woman who is not with child and yet you are lactating. I don't know the name of the medical condition, but you are not with a child and yet you are producing breast milk. I don't know, but in the name of Jesus, I declare, let there be healing right now. Let there be healing right now. Now, God is showing me um, someone, you, you have severe tiredness. If you walk for five minutes, you have the tiredness of someone who probably has been running for a long time. You have to look for somewhere to rest. It's like your energy depletes very fast. In Jesus' name, the Lord is doing a miracle in your body. The Lord is doing a miracle in your body. The Lord is doing a miracle in your body. In the name of Jesus. Now, every other condition, whether I mentioned it or not, in Jesus' name, whatever it is that ails you, whatever it is that discomforts you, let there be a miracle for you now. Now, very quickly, please, those who are coming from outside to testify, protocol security, allow them so they can rush and come. I want you to check yourself from the start of the service, aside from those who have testified. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened for you and you want to testify, please check yourself. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. I want you to leave your seat very quickly and come and stand here. People are coming out. People are coming out. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Celebrate them as they come. Don't be afraid. Come. Run to Jesus. Make sure your request is here while they are coming out. Please, for those coming, let's very quickly, very quickly. And oh, what joy that fills my soul. Something happened. And now I know 
Jesus touched me and made me whole. Quickly, quickly. My tame of Kona, my tame of Kona, my tame of Kona, my tame of Kona. Bazanji Soro, Bazanji Kuna, keep coming. My tame of Kona, Bazanji Soro. Are you ready? Yes, please. Please listen very carefully to the testimonies and let's glorify Jesus. Yes, sir. Please help us, technical. Okay. Immediately you mentioned altar, the pain disappeared immediately. Altar, how long, my dear? In the name of Jesus, lay your hands there. I declare perfection for you now. Precious and God bless you. Luke chapter 18, verse 1. Jesus' advice. He said, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Don't forget that the fervent effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. There is no time. There is no excuse to prayer. Pray at all time. Pray from wherever you are. Don't give up in the place of prayer. Hold on to the horns of the altar. Ensure you see that the spoken word of God in your life becomes your reality day and night. See to it that Jesus reigns in your altar of prayer and there is always sufficient fire burning upon your altar of intimacy with the Lord. That is one place you shouldn't joke with. That is one place you shouldn't give up on. No matter what is coming your way, no matter the challenges, no matter what the devil is posing to your life, no matter what is coming as an obstacle to ensure that you do not pray, men ought always to pray it is in praying we conquer it is in praying we walk it is in praying we gain victory it is in praying we become what god said we would be don't forget do not stop praying pray at all times pray in all season and even tonight you keep praying do well also to subscribe on this platform reflector hub tv and as you heard the word of the lord via his servant apostle Jesus Selman, do ensure you engage them with five and prayer. Share this video and hit the notification bell. See you in our next video. We love you so much and God bless you.